Hi, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, creating a HUD for the third person, first person switch that we have so that we switch and change our HUD out for each one of those. We're not going to put anything really on these HUDs right now because that'll come up when we start fixing up the character and making stats and damage and, and all that stuff. Uh, but for now, we'll get the HUD elements in place so they can switch back and forth when we change it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. All right. Welcome back. So uh, we've got quite a lot, uh, quite a lot we can... Uh, we can work on in this one. Uh, so far, what we have is uh, we have our third person character here. We can switch into first person mode. We can run around. We can go through doors and so forth. So uh, that's working out pretty good. Uh, now that we have this third person, first person switch, um, what I want to work on first is setting up our uh, HUD system for this uh, for this character so we're gonna need uh, <clears throat> a main HUD that's gonna contain anything that's common to both modes and then we'll have two different HUDs one for third person and one for first person that might contain slightly different elements depending on what's going on so let's take a look at that how we would go about setting up a HUD so we've got this uh, first person HUD that we created here. Um, let's move this up here. Look at the uh, uh, event graph. <clears throat> this is the main HUD of the system, and this is where we load. If you remember on begin play, we add uh, the h different HUDs to the viewport, and here we've got this first person HUD. So we can certainly recycle that one. <clears throat> Uh, so the first thing we need to do is take this uh, first person HUD and instead of calling it first person HUD, I'm just going to call it main underscore HUD. That way we, we've got a main HUD that we can use uh, in, uh, in whatever modes that we want. Up here under our characters, our player, character Arissa, I think it's blueprints, we have this game mode. So let's open up the game mode. And if we go into the game mode, we will find here it says HUD. What we want is the main HUD. And right now, the main HUD is going to just load that first person one, but we're going to modify that. So as we start off, you see we've got an X. Well, having a, a site when you're in first person mode, that's great. Having a site that you can point at things. When you're in third person mode, you don't really need the site. Uh, you need other things, but you don't need a site. So, as the site's going to do nothing but just point at the back of our head all the time. So, uh, it's not set up to aim. All right. So, let's take a look at what we need to do to accomplish that. So, first of all, we need to know what mode Arissa is in. <clears throat> so, let's look at the... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's the animation BP. We don't want that right now. Uh, that's the mode... We're okay with that. Let's do a save all. I have had Unreal crash on occasion, so you want to save often. Uh, just about every time you make any change to anything, you just want to hit save on things or you're liable to lose some work. So, we want the uh, Arissa blueprint right here. And... <clears throat> The Arissa Blueprint has a mode in it, and I believe it is uh, right here. It's first-person mode, and right now it's not accessible outside the Blueprint. So we'll just click on that eye right there <clears throat> and have this uh, first-person mode be uh, uh, accessible. But, you know, we're going to have uh, possibly other things going on, but that that's okay for now. I would prefer to use an enumeration for that. We might change that at some point in time in the future. Let's compile and save this and go back to our main HUD. <clears throat> now, what we want to do is make a decision as to what HUD to create depending on what mode we're in, first person or third person. And we're going to have some sort of uh, common HUD 
that is always going to be displayed. So we're not going to just display this first person one. So I'm going to break this link and I'm going to move this down out of the way. Let's go back over here to our uh, blueprints. Where was it? HUD. Uh, do we want to put it in here? Do we have a, we've got a mode. And BP now we want to put it in the HUD so now what we're going to do is create a uh, user go to user interface we're going to create a blueprint widget and we already have a first person HUD which we'll move into here so let's make a third person underscore widget we won't call it a HUD because this main HUD is the HUD this is a widget that we created and where did we create that? Um, so that was the main HUD and first person HUD widget. Is that the, yes, that that's it. So let's get this first person HUD widget moved into the right location. It should be in this HUD move here. So where did I move it to? I moved it into landscape. HUD. Move here. Okay, HUD. So there's our first person HUD widget. Here's our third person. Let's keep the naming conventions the same. We'll just call this the first person widget. We won't put HUD on there. So now we've got our first person HUD and our third person HUD and our main HUD that's going to coordinate these. And I'm going to create one more uh, in user interface uh, widget blueprint. And I'm going to call this the common widget. All right. Common widget we're always going to display and we're, we're going to display the first person or the third person depending on what mode we're in and we're, we're always going to start in third person mode so we might just load that automatically but if we come over here we've got the event begin play uh, we can reuse this what we want to load here is our common HUD so that's our common one and then we want to go <clears throat> add to viewport. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, for these others, these other two, we're going to create a couple of uh, custom events. And I'll show you why. So this is going to be our, that's our first person HUD, uh, or widget rather. This will be our third person widget. And so let's create a custom event, custom event. And we'll call this uh, first person mode select. We'll copy it, we'll paste it, and we'll rename this to first, uh, yeah, that's first, this would be third person mode select all right and we will plug these into here and uh, why am I getting a warning compile okay the warning's gone so now we have a pair of events that can be called and right off the bat we want to start off in third person mode so what we're going to do right up here is just call third person mode select all right so that's just going to call that event down there and set that third person mode widget so let's compile this and save it for the moment and let's see the third person uh, widget and open it up and for the moment all I'm going to do is come in here and grab some text and put it right about here and I'm going to type in here third person mode and we'll pull this across just to let us know that this displayed correctly. Now, if everything worked right, we should be able to go into here and there it is, third person mode. You notice our crosshair is gone. We got rid of that. But if we switch modes, nothing happens. It stays in third person mode. So that's what we're going to do next. Now back here to the ERISA BP. 
All right, so all we have to do here is up here, this is our uh, third person mode switch. All we have to do is come down here and we want to do this. <clears throat> all right, <clears throat> I'm going to get the player controller. And from this, we want to do a get HUD. And then we want to cast to main HUD. And we want to do this. Let me expand this out. We want to do all of this <coughs> over here <coughs> uh, after we set the... Uh, after we set the mode, just double checking what when we set the arm length to zero, that's fine. This is basically true. This is coming a first person mode is true. We're first person. So that's when we want to do this. So what we want to do here is <clears throat> call first person mode select and come off of this again and call third person mode select. All right, so when the target arm length is zero, that's this one. Uh, okay, what we want to do is come out of here. Those targets are fine. And we want to do this same thing here. Control C, Control V. Um, depending on which one of these come down we want to cast and fire that one as main HUD we can do that and we don't need this break those links we need this okay so what's gonna happen here when we are in this branch uh, where the first person mode is true we come down here and set this length and then we come down here and cast this to main HUD and then call our first person mode select. This one calls our third person mode select. So let's see if it works. So here we are in third person and now we're in, well, it still says third person mode. Oh, because we have to remove it. <laughs> All right, let's go back to our main HUD. Uh, I missed a step here. So basically that's the mechanic, but what we want to do is a little bit more here. So what we want to do is add a variable <clears throat> and we're going to call this uh, current, uh, current widget. And the type we're going to set it to is widget. So we'll just go in here and type widget uh, widget darn it widget widget blueprint that's what we want uh, no I don't think so we want Nope, just widget. Why isn't it coming up? Widget. Where's widget? There it is. Widget. And we want an object reference. Okay. That's the correct type. So we'll compile and save that. We'll bring this out. And what we want to do is ask the question, is valid? And the one that we want is the one with the question mark at the end that's is valid GUID. come off of here type in is valid with the question mark that's the one we want and we'll plug this into here and this into is valid all right if it excuse me i'm going to break that uh is not valid is when we're going to come over to here and just go ahead and create one if it is valid 
we're going to do this. We're going to go remove from parent. So we need to grab this. It's context sensitive. So remove from parent. And when it is valid, meaning there is a widget already in here, we're going to remove it before we call this right right there okay who so when this fires if there is a current widget if it's just null if it's not there it's going to bypass this and it's just going to create one and put it in but now we've got to set this so what we want to do is come over here and do a set and this and what we want to set it to is this return value here that's the widget and we want to do the same thing down here. So what we can do is just grab, oops, just grab these, copy them, paste them down here, and hook this up to is valid. And put this into here, but also put this into here. put this into here excuse me put this into here and that into there there we go so if it is valid it's going to remove it from the parent and then create it otherwise it's just going to create it and again down here we're going to set this to this return value there we go so this is going to swap the current widget in and out so that we get either a first person widget or a third person widget, but not both. So let's go ahead and play. So we're in first person mode. Now we're in third person mode and we switch back and we're in first person mode. You can see the words there. So that's our two main displays and we have a, a working a working HUD now with our uh, with our lady here. So. Oh, we can still look straight at our face. Okay. That one doesn't open. This one opens. All right. Third person mode. Okay. So now we have our widgets straightened out. Now we can put different stuff in these very easily and tie them in to everything we're going to do. So with that done, we're going to move on to another topic. Okay, so we got our uh, HUDs created. We now have a switching uh, HUD that switches between first person and third person. We can put different information on there depending on what mode you're on and certainly change out like the crosshairs for something else. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's working out well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you really liked, if you liked it, hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications when I upload videos, hit that notify button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.